Hello friends, welcome to Amazoft Webcast and in today's video demonstration we are going to see how to configure access based enumeration in Windows Server 2012 R2 Active Directory. Access based enumeration, a feature first introduced in Windows Server 2003 R2, applies filter to share folder based on individual users permission to the files and subfolders in the share folder. Simply, user who cannot access particular shared resources cannot see that resource on the network. These features prevent users from searching through files and folders they cannot access. You can enable or disable access based enumeration for share folders at any time by opening the share folders property set in file and storage services console. You can also enable access based enumeration at the time of creating the new share folder by using share folder wizards from file and storage services console. Access based enumeration can be modified after a share has been established through the file and storage services section of the server manager. share. So in this demonstration, already I have a two user named HR1 and HR2 and as well as we have a one group named HR users and if you see the membership, HR1 and HR2 both are the member of our group HR users. Let's create one folder on uh, C drive. Let's with the name HR data. Now I want to create a share folder for HR users and the folder name is HR data. Let's use Saw Manager to create a share folder. Let's click on File and Storage Services. Click on Shares. And right now we have uh, only two default shares that is NetLogon and Syswall. Due to this server is a Twin Controller. Let's create a new share folder. Select New Share. Select SMB Share. Quick Profile. Click on next. Now here, let's specify the custom path. Click on browse on a C drive. We just create a one folder name HR data. Let's select the folder. Now the path is C colon slash HR data. Click on next. And the name of the share folder is HR data. Click on next. Now here we have an options for access based enumeration. But right now I'm not going to enable the access based enumeration. Click on next. Now here we have to specify the permission. Click on customize permission. Now remember, share permission on this folder will be everyone full control. And we are going to modify the NTFS permission on this folder. First, I'm going to disable the inheritance. Select convert inheritor permission into explicit permission on this object. And then remove both users entry. Click on add. Click on select the principal. Let's specify HR users that is the group click on ok and let's give them permission allow and the permission is applying on this folder only click on show advanced permissions and let's select they are able to create folders and append data inside this azure data click on ok click on apply click on ok and then click on next let's click on create to create a share folder Okay, the share was successfully created. Now click on close to close this console. And right now we have a one folder named HR data. If you see on a C drive, we have HR data folder. Let's go to the property and click on security. Click on advance. Here we can see HR users have a special permission. Click on edit. So HR users group can uh, read, list, and create a folder under these folder name is your data now click on ok ok and ok let's go back to our windows 10 client computer and on this computer already they are login as a user named hr1 let's access the share folder by using unc path the ip address of our server is 1.5 okay now here we have a folder name hr data let's create a new folder under this name HR1. Okay, this folder is created by the our user name HR1. Okay, let's uh, put one text file. Hello. Okay, click on close and save it. Okay, click on close and uh, let's log in as HR2 on this Windows 10 computer. Okay. Now we are going to log in as a, we have a second user named HR2. 
Do the same thing for our user HR2. Access the share folder 192.168 to 1 1.5 the IP address. And under HR data folder, create new folder name HR2. Now this folder is created by the another user name HR2. And under, let's create a one uh, text file name hi. Let's click on close and save this. Now, if you see under HR data, our user name HR2 is able to see the folder name HR1. Now, if user HR2 try to access folder, nope, user HR2 is not able to access the HR1 folder. Windows cannot access. The reason is the NTFS permission. User does not have a permission to access these folder. Now, HR2 is not able to access the folder due to the permission reason. But still, HR2 is able to see the folder name HR1. And, and now we are going to enable the access with enumeration. And after that, user can only see the folder on which they have a minimum read permission. If user does not have a minimum read permission, that folder will be not visible to the users. Now let's go back on our server. On our server, just right click on uh, the share folder which you created earlier. Select property and click on settings. And now I'm going to enable access base enumeration. Click on apply. Click on OK. Let's come back on our client computer. Let's close this and let's sign out. Now once again, let's log in as our user HR2. Okay, now let's access the share folder again. Let's double click on HR data and this time we can only see the folder name HR2. And as you can see, we are not able to see the folder name HR1. On a C drive, if you see under HR data, we have a two folder name HR1 and HR2. But the user HR2 is only able to see the folder HR2 because on HR1 folder, the user HR2 does not have permission to access the folder. And that's why our user is only able to see his own folder. Now let's come back on our server and on a C drive, let's create one uh, folder. This folder is uh, created by administrator. And if you see the permission, let's click on edit and let's add hr users okay and give them a permission to read come okay let's come back on our windows 10 computer and just refresh it now we are able to see the folder name all because our user hr2 has read only permission on that folder now if we log in as our user hr1 in that time our user hr1 is only able to see the folder hr1 Let's log in as uh, our user name HR1. Let's access the share folder and double click on HR data. And here we go. Now HR1 can only see the folder all and HR1. HR1 user is not able to see the folder HR2 due to access based enumeration. So this is the way how you can configure access based enumeration on share folder in Windows Server 2012 Active Directory. And that's it for this video demonstration. Thanks for watching this video.